Have you been feeling like many of the problems our country is facing are so big and complex, frustrating and scary that it becomes a little overwhelming? It's easy in such moments to feel paralyzed. We can feel so small and insignificant, even useless, so much so that we can't even begin to imagine how we can move forward as a country. We know deep down that things aren't as they should be, but we don't really know how to go forward. And in those moments of quiet resignation, we might wonder what kind of difference can be made if any difference can be made at all. Well, as people of faith and heirs of the social gospel tradition, we're called to help make the world as God intended it to be. We're called to make God's love and justice real for all people. But at the same time, there seem to be so many competing ideas and contrary interests just pulling things the other way. So how can we move forward? Maybe we can begin by asking, what are some core values that can ground us as people of faith? What are some common commitments that we hold that can help recenter us in the work of co-creating a world that God has envisioned for all people? Or what virtues will lead us to a world of shalom where all of creation flourishes? As we move ever closer to this divisive and polarizing election, we're going to explore the great Hebrew prophet Micah's famous mandate to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with our God. And so we'll ask, what does true justice look like? How does the intentional practice of kindness and compassion shape our words and actions as we work together for the common good? And why is humility such an essential component in the public and political arenas of our lives. I hope you'll be able to join us starting October 6th for this four-week sermon series, and I hope that it blesses you as much as you can be a blessing to others in this world. We hope to see you soon.